And times, what portal did CERN open now? Strange clouds hover above the CERN LHC, cause concern. This took place June 24th, the day that the new experimental AWAKE testing was taking place over CERN Geneva. Photos of strange clouds causing concern. Anything unusual that happens or is rumored to have happened at or around the general vicinity of Geneva many times is blamed on the Large Hadron Collider and CERN. That was the case once again this week when photos and a video appeared on the internet showing strange clouds over the LHC. Has a portal to another dimension been opened or is it just a case of panic in the precipitation? What portal did CERN open now? Strange clouds hovering above the LHC is a video produced and uploaded by Freedom Times Fighter and it describes itself as a research organization that exposes the end times and the powers that be who seek our demise. And in the interest of keeping church, state and scientific apocalypse separate, they attempt to focus on the scientific side. The photos were taken reportedly on June 24th, 2016 by three photographers on a walk together. They were Joel Rodrigue, Dean Jill and Christophe Suarez. Weather reports for that date show 0.67 inches of rain, but no unusual weather was noted. Quality of photographs is exceptional, and the narrator of the video addresses this by assuring that the images have been examined and are genuine and unedited and not photoshopped in any way. It doesn't say how this was done, but the photographers have other fine photos on their pages as well, and they also didn't report seeing anything unusual other than a really cool storm. The video says the photos were taken on the same day as the AWAKE experiment was supposed to begin and the conspiracy generating name actually stands for AWAKE stands for Advanced Wakefield Experiment and is according to CERN the world's first proton driven plasma Wakefield acceleration experiment and it not only demonstrates how protons can be used to generate wake fields AWAKE will also develop the necessary technologies for long-term proton-driven plasma acceleration projects. CERN announced the first proton beam commission on June 16th and nothing seemed to occur until June 24th. Anything having to do with clouds over CERN brings up the cloud experiment and this is no exception. Cloud is a cosmic leaving outdoor droplets experiment, I'm sorry, which uses a special cloud chamber in the proton synchrotron to study the possible link between galactic cosmic rays and cloud formation. Galactic rays causing cloud formation on Earth. The experiments are conducted completely inside the cloud chamber. Only the knowledge of possible links between water droplets and cosmic rays and climate change can escape. So, some high quality photographs of storm clouds over Geneva taken on June 24th by these three photographers, CERN conducting accelerated cloud experiments and end times linked to photos and CERN with climate change and apocalyptic predictions. Is that interesting? Yes. Portals or Armageddon. A few more dots closer together would help. Dean Gill took a photo of this rotating cell only producing intracloud lightning activity. This is a supercell appearing to be glowing as well, and the glow going all the way down to the area above CERN. A supercell taking birth above Geneva. And this isn't the first time we witnessed this. Manifestations of clouds over CERN also took place May 11th when there was a radar glitch or type of a proof that something strange was happening over CERN. It was supposedly a storm as shown on weather radar, but nothing of a storm ever took place. There have been various people that have sued CERN because of the dangerous experiments that are taking place there, not only for the location, but for the whole world. Physicists and scientists suing CERN. An LHC lawsuit 
has been dismissed by U.S. court. That was an article back in 13 September 2010 as a collaboration among thousands of scientists from more than 100 countries. CERN plans to continue operating the Large Hadron Collider through 2011 anyway. Now, we're talking about top-of-the-class world physicists and cosmologists, very smart scientists, going against a judge. Even if the U.S. court could have impact on Large Hadron Collider operations, the judge also concluded that the person suing did not demonstrate sufficient standing in the court for the case to proceed. Wagner was the guy who did that. Wagner, Walter Wagner, is a retired nuclear safety officer. A retired nuclear safety officer. And his evidence was just thrown out. Wagner told uh, Cosmic Logic, a science blog, that he plans to seek a new review of the court's ruling since the law allows reviews requests to be filed. The court found that Wagner has alleged that experiments at the Large Hadron Collider, the Collider at CERN, have potential adverse consequences. Speculative fear of future harm does not constitute an injury, in fact, sufficient to confer standings. He was, of course, suing because of the potential likelihood of black holes being created on Earth. Now, he wasn't the only one to sue CERN for dangerous uh, science and, and uh, disastrous catastrophic experiments that could uh, endanger not only the human race but perhaps our whole solar system and uh, there were others of course one of the recent articles in 2016 is CERN physicist says we have done something evil and is being it is being hidden now is CERN really trying to change the weather is it doing weather manipulation the LHC is the world's largest and most powerful machine and it's actually used to collide particles at close to the speed of light in a bid to discover more about physics and possibilities of parallel universes. And this curious machine developed across a 16-mile ring of superconducting magnets has had critics before amid claims it could inadvertently create a black hole that may swallow up the world. CERN of course denies trying to change our weather but it's carried out experiments to create artificial clouds to better understand global warming which fuels the conspiracies an official line on what the awake experiments are about is to develop a new type of accelerator to cut the size of the huge particle physics experiments down by a factor of a hundred or more so they can be carried out on tabletops the awake experiment, also known as the proton-driven plasma awake field acceleration experiment, will use a whole new method that will get particles going much faster in a shorter amount of time. Results are not expected until 2018. Amazing. I'll leave links below for you for this. And times, what portal did CERN open now? Strange clouds hover above the CERN LHC cause concern. This took place June 24th, the day that the new experimental awake testing was taking place over CERN Geneva. Photos of strange clouds causing concern. Anything unusual that happens or is rumored to have happened at or around the general vicinity of Geneva many times is blamed on the Large Hadron Collider and CERN. That was the case once again this week when photos and a video appeared on the internet showing strange clouds over the LHC. 
has a portal to another dimension been opened or is it just a case of panic in the precipitation? What portal did CERN open now? Strange clouds hovering above the LHC is a video produced and uploaded by Freedom Times Fighter and it describes itself as a research organization that exposes the end times and the powers that be who seek our demise.